Hi, in this video I continue with the preferences in GIMP 2.8 and this tutorial is for my beginner's guide where I explain all the basics in detail. Now let's go ahead and select the edit menu, preferences and go to the next one, two options and the first one is save two options on exit and the two options are over here each tool has different options and some of the options are shared between tools I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video when I discuss this section of the dialog now let's return to the save two options on exit and this is pretty clear if this is off every time you restart GIMP the two options will return to the default state and if you turn this on GIMP will save the two options on exit and when you start GIMP again, the two options will be the way you left them. I don't recommend turning this on unless you're working on a very big project and you want to keep your two options and uh, every time you start GIMP, you don't have to waste time adjusting them again. The next option, save two options now. For example, if I change the brush size to, let's say 50 pixels, then click on save two options now then click ok every time i restart gimp my brush size will be 50 pixels instead of 20. and this option you should take advantage of because let's say for example you use often the flip tool and you prefer the vertical option to be the default option you can go ahead and select and then click on save two options now and click ok and every time you use gimp and the flip tool the default will be vertical and if at some point you want to return the two options to default values you can always use this option next guide in grid snapping snap distance by default it's 8 pixels I'm going to demonstrate how this works and also show you a little bug that I found before that let's check out the view menu and you see that by default we have show guides option on and also snap to guides on if you want to turn on the grid you can select it and also select snap to grid for this example I'm going to use guides so I'm going to click and drag a guide here I'm going to grab the rectangle select tool now if I click close enough to the guide within this snap distance of 8 pixels my click point will be shifted over the guide and I'm going to snap onto the guide so let's try that and you see how I snapped onto the guide even though I clicked below it now let's try this with 50 pixels and now I can click even further away from the guide and still snap onto it now I'm going to change this back to 8 pixels and I'm going to zoom in very close and you see now if I click and drag even though I'm very close, maybe 2 or 3 pixels away from the guide and I should be within the snap distance but my click point wasn't shifted onto the guide and I'm guessing this is some kind of a bug when you zoom in it's not very accurate and if you zoom out it works very well so just be aware of this now let's move on to the next option scaling default interpolation is cubic you can click here and select from four options non linear cubic and sync and the first one is the fastest but it gives the worst results and the last one gives high quality results but it's lower next we have paint options shared between tools brush dynamics pattern and gradient for example the brush tool and the pencil tool share identical two options and the brush tool and the eraser tool share some options others defer so you can go ahead and explore which of these tools share brush options dynamics options pattern fill and gradient options and of course if you don't want them to do that you can always come here and turn them off and now the last option move tool set layer or path as active and to demonstrate this I'll need to create a new layer so I'll click here and for width and height I will type 500 pixels then I will select fill with foreground color which is black then click OK 
then I'm going to zoom out, grab the move tool, and then I'm going to set the background layer as active by clicking on it. And then I can still use the move tool to pick this layer. And you see that this made the layer active. But as soon as I let go of the mouse, you'll see that the background layer will become again active. And if I turn this option on, and I pick this, move it, then let go, you'll see that the layer that I just picked and moved will remain active. And of course this can only work if we have the default option pick a layer or guide selected. If we select the move the active layer option from the two options of the move tool, this option here will become useless. So have that in mind. And that's it for this video. I hope that it was useful. If it was, subscribe, like it, leave a comment, visit my channel. And that's it for now. Bye.